I'm Alex and this is Technical Gaming. If you bought Ion Fury, you might have noticed that the mouse movement feels a little bit mushy. And there's a couple options that can affect this. So if you go into the options menu under control setup and mouse setup, you can set the filter input to off or no. And this is basic mouse smoothing. Turning it off does a lot of good. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that the X scale and Y scale uh, are a little bit weird. Uh, you have to set the X scale to 50% of whatever the Y scale is set to. So by default, they're both set to one. And for whatever reason, it, it's not one to one with the vertical and horizontal mouse movement and doing, doing this makes it one to one. I don't know why the developers don't just make these are the default options and then have people go from there because it seems like everyone would want one to one mouse movement in both the horizontal and vertical axes, but whatever, that's not their here nor there. You can also go into display setup and video mode, turn off VSync, you know, set your frame rate limiter to whatever you want. Uh, I have it set to max just because I'm a gamer, bro. But you'll notice that even with everything set up properly in the in game options, your mouse controls can still feel a little bit floaty. And I can't really convey this in a video. You kind of have to play it to feel it. It's not something that a video is gonna convey to you. But if you've been playing, you might be like, oh man, it's the it just feels a little bit weighty and floaty. Well, I have the solution. I did some Googling. I was looking at the PCGamingWiki.com page for Ion Fury. And it, you know, had a couple things, but it didn't really give me any help. And then I looked at the Steam user forums and they were like, uh, make sure you turn VSync off in the C NVIDIA control panel because for whatever reason VSync's on in the game even if you turn it off in the game. So that's what I did. I added it to the program settings options under manage 3D settings in the NVIDIA control panel and it was like night and day. Like automatically it, it just felt better. So clearly there's some level of VSync running in Ion Fury even if you have it off in the game. That said, NVIDIA also recently changed the max pre-rendered frames driver option to low latency mode and added a new option which is basically zero pre-rendered frames which is the ultra setting of course for most games you're probably not going to be able to run low latency mode at ultra just because it basically removes the ability of your pc to queue frames from the cpu to the gpu if your game is running at like way above your displaced refresh rate like you're playing csgo on a 2080 ti or ion fury like i am on an rtx 2080 you could set it to ultra because your games, the game will run at like infinite FPS. Off is for if you have a weaker GPU or you're playing a really intense game and getting very low FPS out of the box. Anyway, I hope this helps you play Ion Fury a little bit more precisely. <laughs> uh, it really helped me a lot and the game feels so much better now. And I kind of hope that the developers take note of this issue and do something to address it because the game is fantastic. And part of what makes it fantastic is that it's an homage to the classics of the PC FPS gaming genre. Ooh. And it would be a shame if weird mouse input issues plagued this game for the rest of its life because the developers didn't address them directly. You know, it's one of those things where in like five or 10 years when this game's on sale for a dollar on Steam, people are gonna be like, I bought the game. And for a game that looks like Duke Nukem, it sure plays like doo-doo. And they're gonna, you know, most people aren't gonna look at the Steam form, so hopefully uh, the developers uh, implement a fix for this problem. Until then, <laughs> I'm Alex, and this has been Technical Gaming. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like or a comment saying what you appreciated about it. And uh, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching.